Alright guys, we're back. We finished up the last episode and then I saw this guy spawning. So, can you see the big red turret on the distance? He's red and white, really looks like a nice colour combination and to top it off he's level 95 which would be a perfect starting team. Now I've had a look and luckily we do have just enough materials. Apparently it would take two shots to the head. He should be out conscious. And there we go, right, maybe one for good luck. Um, so now all we need is a bit of meat. But before I do that, I need to make sure the area is safe. So let's deal with this dial over here. Oh, you are kidding me. Have I got anything on? No. Okay, all right then. Come on, die already. narcotics but I can probably grab the ones that we need by hand. There is another pterodon that did spawn as well, it's a red and green one over there if you can see it, but yeah, it's level 25, it's useless if I'm honest. I'll do that. Um, we need to have a look at how much it takes for a turret on saddle actually. Oh, we, oh, we don't have it just yet. Alright, okay then. Let's put that into hell. So we only need one more level, so that's not a massive issue. We can get that pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get this bit finished up, try and gain a level, and I'll be back then. See you then. Alright, so we was about halfway through doing these pterodon terms and this thing dropped. Just literally out of nowhere from Raptor Claws. It's like it was meant to be. Let's have a look, what's it got? Oh, what? A chibi moss chop. Oh, I'm happy. I am well happy with that. That is ridiculous. How do I... Earn additional max levels for my survivor. I'm going to quit it. Name it. I'm going to call it Moshi. Look at that. Look. Look at the amount of armor that gives. Mistletone call I'm going to keep hold of just because uh, if we see a gotcha clause we can use it. But this, this is mental. How much damage? 513. Oh my god, I'm going to be at one bop stuff with this thing. I'm almost. Oh my god, look at the little chibi. Mm. Thing is, you have to be able to kill alphas with this to level it up, but hey, I'm not worried. Alright, I'm gonna put this guy's stance to neutral behaviour following Lewis. So, this guy I decided to turn off anyway as a backup. Just because if we lose the other uh, pterodon, we could be in a bit of trouble. But as you can see, his weight's not great, his stamina's not great, his health's not great, but at least he's another type of dino to defend base. Um, we'll call him... Rudolph. 
why not? This thing follows me everywhere by the looks of it. I want to test out my new pike. I want to test it out on something. Try it on a PO me. How's this guy doing? Gonna get so much materials. I'm half tempted to go and try and take our base back and get all the materials from it. Come here, little Fiomia. Alright, so anything higher level, we're not really gonna just one hit with this, but tell you what, that is a lucky find. Alright, I'm back, and we have the, alright, I'm back, and we have the turtle all tamed up, he's here, 1500 health, 168, 221% melee damage, and 322 stamina, I'm not sure what I'm going to pump on this guy just yet, um, but one thing's for sure is we can get about a little bit easier now. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take you over towards the old base and just show you what sort of uh, scenario we was in over there. I mean, chances are that they could have despawned. What time is it? Because now we've got a flyer as well, I, um, I'm thinking that we should try and chase down raptor cores, especially since we got that ascendant pike. That is like a really good find. Looks like they're not here anymore. Unless they're inside the base. But over there you can see the corner that was ripped open. I honestly don't know where they came from either. They did just kind of appear out of nowhere. Oh, there's the uh, little moss chops as well. So as you can see, they destroyed one of the things. This was nearly destroyed. Let's take what we can from it. It's worth taking. I might return back to this at some point, but right now, okay, right, we have to let the thought we might be. How much buy? Eh, not buy that much. Get rid of some fibre, maybe? I don't know where them hyenas have gone. They must be in the forest. I'm hoping that they're not working their way back down towards our base because that could be a problem. But I'll tell you what we'll do then is we'll get back to the base and we'll start working on the farm. Because near us we have a chatina, which are the slugs, and they naturally create cementing paste as well as organic polymer so it'd be nice to just have one near the base so i'm going to try and get a farm going because we need to make sweet vegetable cakes in order to tame them um, so i've got to look into a few things as well on top of that just because well quite frankly <laughs> I don't know how to make them. Got a few 
few trikes around the base now as well. True, not true dons, uh, whatever they're called. I am kind of concerned where them hyena dons have gone though, because, well, if they're working their way towards this base. I don't know how well the pack will handle them. I mean, I'd hope that they'd do quite well, but I don't know. I you know, look at that, we've got a male and a female pterodon. Let's put them in there for now, just because we're going to need fridges and stuff to officially. We do need to do some more narco berry farming at some point. Um, need about another 400 to get them done. But yeah, we're going to get started on our farm. So as I mentioned in like, the last couple of episodes, how we're going to get stuff built. So as you can see, we've got 12 wooden foundations, a door frame and a door. Not managed to make any walls yet. But my plan is, is that we're going to put we're going to build it kind of behind the base. Let me do that. Don't know how much yet. Let me think it. Let me do that. It will let us do this. I'm thinking, well, if we've got two there, we could probably fit live crop pot wise. Hmm. Just thinking of how to lay it out. But I'm thinking we should put them along here, along this side. Let's just go and grab some more. by two all the way around and that way you have <coughs> large crop pots all the way around the sides and so next we are going to need but it also means that I can do this We do need a wall, or walls, I should say. And then not only that, but how much are large crop pots now? I'm pretty sure that they're quite expensive. Yeah, 100 stone, 65, a 40 thatch, and 80 wood. So we're going to make them last. Ah, right, so you can only have one of them equipped at a time. Okay. I still can't believe it, that though, that freaking ghillie mask is a joke. Um, but yeah, I think we'll wrap it up there. I've got some materials, I need to go and grab some more wood um, so we can start making the walls and stuff. Um, we also need plenty of more stone. Um, but what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll take the turret on to where we've got some stone because there is none around here. Um, so I'm going to finish off the base build so that it's ready for the next episode. Then we're also going to need some pipes for water, so yeah, I'll focus on getting them. And uh, next episode, hopefully, we'll be in a better position to maybe have a look around for raptor claws. 
got like eight hours of the day left. So yeah, I'll uh, look at doing that for you. All right, catch you next time.